Wearing the yellow one, Shuntleham pushed out to the street. Sherlock, a dog, came by. Want to fight? asked Sherlock. Shuntleham said, shaking his hat. Want a party? Sure, said Sherlock. Follow me, replied Shuntleham. Two calico cats, tea bag and flea bag, were climbing up a big oak. Want to climb? asked flea bag. Instead, Shuttleham invited them to his party. Follow me, he said. Lucille, Agnes, Houdini, and Rita Jane were chickens running loose down a side yard. Want to party? called Shuttleham. Yes, they clucked, seeing the hat. Then follow me. And the parade walked merrily down the street. Until they passed an empty lot. Three stray dogs were chewing a rubber boot. Let's see what they are up to, growled the biggest. And they did. How will we all slip through that tiny door? Shuntleham wondered. They happened to pass a front porch where Willie, a pet raccoon, was tied. Untie your rope and join us, cried Shuntleham. It's a party at my house. So Willie followed the three strays, four chickens, two cats, and Sherlock. Willie unlocked the tall door. They put on hats left over from the New Year's and threw confetti and shoved furniture aside to make room. Shuntleham realized they needed a cake. I know how it's done, he said. The chickens, Lucille, Agnes, Houdini, and Rita Jane, sifted cake flour. They ran out of the kitchen, however, when Sherlock broke the eggs. <laughs> Willie was a pretty fine stirrer, but it was hard to guess how much baking powder to use. Tea bag cracked nuts, flea bag poured in the milk, and Shuntleham lit the oven. Now we have to wait. Somebody had turned on the radio. The three stray dogs had a lovely pillow fight. Lucille, Agnes, Houdini, and Rita Jane began dancing. Crash and bop, Sherlock stood in his head. Flip and flop, the party went full blast. My first party and my best, decided Shuntleham. The cake was not quite what he had hoped for. Still, it was only a cat's cake. Everybody cheered for the raspberry frosting. The cheering was so loud nobody heard Mr. and Mrs. Rude. They had left Aunt Lisa's to come home early. Poor little kitty left all alone, said Mrs. Rude, getting out of the car. Carefully, Mr. Rude carried a round piece of cake. Teacups got knocked over. Wildly, all the guests scrambled without the back door, whizzing with feathers and fur flying. Shuntleham lay licking his paws. Shaking her finger at him, Mrs. Rude scowled. You are going to have a lot, a lot of explaining to do, <laughs> she said. Cats don't talk, said Shuntleham. 